Hi everyone, this is For the Love of Comics and a very warm welcome to what hopefully is going to be a very quick video in which I try to tackle both a viewer request as well as a channel update in under 5 minutes. Let's see how that goes. Let's start with the channel update. Here on YouTube, For the Love of Comics has unlocked the community tab which means that we are now able to share photographs and little tidbits and updates and conduct polls among other things which I haven't thought about everything that I can do with it but I am really excited about it. As you may know, we do have an Instagram page as well as a Facebook page in which we uh, share images and tidbits but it's a little difficult to manage all this different social media although I have some help with the Instagram page uh, it's still uh, with a full-time job and family and other commitments it's still a lot to manage on different platforms so I'm really excited to have things all consolidated on YouTube so I can share things all in one place with the same group of people so if you're interested in helping shape or contribute uh, through suggestions and through polls uh, to this channel, I would strongly recommend you turn on notifications by clicking on that little bell icon next to the subscribe button under every video so that you get notified not just of every video I upload but also things I put on the community tab. In particular, I'd like to start with a couple of polls I've been thinking about for a while. I just didn't know how to do them and then boom, here we go. So turn on notifications because those will be coming up in the next couple of days. We're still going to keep the Instagram and the Facebook pages. In fact, the viewer request I mentioned came on Facebook where a regular viewer who communicates with me over there suggested as you may know I've been doing a complete collection tour of our bookshelves and uh, they suggested that I have a video in which I show how all of these shelves look next to each other over here now I was planning to do that anyway I just didn't know how I would arrange it because um, you know it's not a studio setup over here it's uh, it's the apartment my wife and I live in so the light isn't very good and it's not very easy to get the camera around in every place and I have to set up and blah 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 but I've run out of space I've had to order a couple of new bookshelves which will be here soon which means that the arrangements I've shown so far are going to change completely so before things change and become something new I thought it would be a good idea to summarize as recommended all 11 videos made so far in one quick look so the camera is going to be handheld the lights not going to be that good and I'm using this new cheap microphone that I bought to put on top of the camera to give me a little more flexibility and portability. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. In the comments below, leave me all your feedback on the audio, the video, everything, um, so that I know what works and what doesn't work for future videos sake. So let's get started on a quick tour of the 11 bookshelves shared so far. So when I'm sitting facing the camera, that's usually over there, the camera that I'm using right now, obviously. So if that's 12 o'clock, then over here at 10 is shelf number one, which I consider um, shelf number one primarily because it contains some of the earliest straight paperbacks that I read uh, from Vertigo, for example, uh, when I was getting back into reading comics seriously. Back across those curtains and to the other side is shelf number two, which is what we call our Alan Moore shelf. The big Paul Dini, Alex Ross books are up there on top. And then we have the Absolute Editions, Deluxe Editions of Vertigo titles, as well as the hardcover collection of America's Best Comics. Moving across, we have shelf number three, the indie comics from first, second, drawn and quarterly, and Fantagraphics, Archaea, and Slave Labor Graphics, among others. Uh, there are some comics over here from the Indie Comics Fest, as well as some singles uh, that are part of my single issues I love research. Then we have shelf number four on the other side. So you've got shelf number four over here, shelf number three, shelf number two, all across in a line and there's a small gap over here where I think uh, one of the new shelves will go in let's see and shelf number five some Lego on top over there in case you're interested shelf number five has obviously moved into where I sit so I'd be sitting right here if uh, I hadn't moved the chair and the table away for this shoot then we have shelf number nine, which I got to later, which is directly behind where I sit in most of my videos. So shelf number five, shelf number nine, shelf number six. Again, some Lego on top over there for those who are interested. And this is shelf number six. 
So you have these shelves, including shelf number four back there actually, that form the backdrop of most of my videos. And from across over here, we can see shelf number seven. So there's shelf number one, which we already saw, and shelf number seven all the way over here the European comics, the slim hardcovers, and Fantagraphics collections, among others. From shelf number seven, shelf number eight is right here, the small stack of small comics uh, that form actually the first part of shelf number eight. Shelf number eight continues inside that room over there, which uh, we're going to leave aside for now. So shelf eight, shelf seven, shelf one, Shelf two over there, shelf three, shelf four, shelf five, shelf six, and shelf nine. To see the remaining two shelves that we've looked at so far, we have to go through the curtains and into the living room. And there you have shelf 10 with the best American comics, Usagi Yojimbo, etc., etc. And on the other side, shelf 11 some random Lego over there that needs to be redone on top of shelf 10 it was smog and lake down i hope you enjoyed that quick jaunt showing you the 11 shelves of comics so far of course you can find detailed videos on each of those shelves as part of our complete collection playlist uh, linked up here and in the description below thank you as always for watching i hope you enjoyed this video leave me a like to let me know and as always leave me your comments recommendations feedback everything down below. This has been For the Love of Comics and I'll see you at the next video.